Well, hey there, folks, and, uh, welcome back, I guess. Pre-sliced foie gras, or foley grass if you're Mrs. Sausage. What is that red stuff? Now, depending on how you feel about how foie gras is made, I mean, it, 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 it could be considered unethical, but I would argue that gooey duck sausage was a crime against humanity. Fattened duck liver. Never looks so good. In each one of these packages, only a tenth of a pound of, of foie gras. And I foolishly thought that five of them would be enough. So we're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make do with what we got here. Now look, obviously I, I don't like the fact that they force feed these ducks to fatten up their liver. But, uh, they're already dead. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a moot point. It looks like human flesh. Look at that. It's the same, same... Same skin color. You know, in a way, this really isn't that crazy of a sausage ingredient at all. Because to prepare this, all you're supposed to do is sear it on both sides and, and serve it up. And that's exactly what we're going to do once it's in tube form. Oh, it's like Play-Doh. ground up pretty well. It, it, it's interesting. It's, it actually has a very pleasant aroma. It kind of smells like butter and cherry tomatoes. And of course we'll hit it with our blend of salt and pepper. I'm not entirely sure if that if you're supposed to do that with foie gras. It's not in the way you look or the things that you say that you'll do. Hold the line. Sausage is always on time. Oh, oh, oh. How am I doing that? It's go it's gonna be a, a thin boy. It looks like we got more casing than we do foie gras in there. All right, that's it. That's all the that's all the foie gras sausage we're making today. Yeah, you know what? I don't I don't even think this is poking. That doesn't that doesn't look good. With special thanks to today's Mark Boxalo box artist. This guy! That's how it happened. But will it blow? <laughs> oh, there's, there's no hope. It does not blow! <laughs> oh, I got, oh, I got, I got it in my mouth. No! Okay, so I'm gonna have to give that will it blow zero Mark Ruffalos! Well, okay. Here we go! I'm, I'm so afraid. I am so afraid of what's currently happening. I mean, I, I guess it makes sense. We, fat liquefies when it gets hot. Well, I'm gonna get this out of the pan before it turns in, 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 into pure liquid. That that turned into straight up liquid. We're, we're in a little bit of trouble here. It's time you all learn a little something about me. I am not a smart man. As soon as we open it, it's gonna start leaking everywhere. Here, well, it's like we're gonna, we're gonna guillotine it. Well, all right, let's open it up and see how we did. No, shoot, it went worse than I thought. Let's go ahead and give it a bite. There's nothing to really bite. This the skin didn't cook at all. You know what that looks like. Uh, the the shame of this whole thing is that it it tastes it tastes amazing. It the, the taste is 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 pure luxury. It tastes like lobster bisque. It's it's very rich tasting. It's just you can't eat it. There's you, you can't you can't eat it in a sausage form. It it stinks because it it tastes so good. But you know that's this isn't a sausage. This is this is a mess. So even though I would love to give it a five out of five on on taste alone, I can't in good conscience give this a score because it's that's not a sausage. I'm gonna have to give this sausage here a disqualified. Bop 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 bop. You know, when I learned this really isn't that crazy of a sausage ingredient at all.